deal with it. I can't deal with the fact that Nigerians continuously glorify the people that destroyed the country uh, by paying obeisance to them, you know, genuflecting on the altar of their fallen god. So I, so I never went to see him, and he gl he glanced in my direction for a while. I think he's trying to figure out who I was. Um, so my thing is that I've not met a lot of these former head of states before. I've never met Obasanjo before in person. Never met. I met Abdul Salam during the presidential campaign because he was the person who set up the Afoni uh, Peace Committee. He's the chairman, so he was limping on one leg. When he got to me, it's like, oh, you know. And then there was a meeting where I confronted him, and he was asking that if you win election, it looks like all of us will have to leave the country. I said that would be your choice. So <clears throat> I'm not saying it to. Uh, to prove anything, but I just don't have the I don't have respect for all these guys. I, I don't I don't see any reason why I, you know anybody for that matter should do so, especially considering that look at the country they gave you, look, look at the country they handed over to you. But what is interesting, uh, which I should I always question is how bad people live long in Nigeria and good people don't. Like one is 90. Babangira is like 80 something. Obasanjo is 80 something. Uh, all the bad, bad people that are ruined Nigeria, they live long. But Nigerians that have ruled over, you know, the expectancy, the average expectancy uh, life span is like uh, 47, 55 now. Yeah. yeah.